More and wider vehicle lanes to accommodate heavy freight trucks as well as cars are driving the need for mega tunnels and the means of building them. Smashing all previous records is a 19.25 meter TBM to drive a new double-deck highway tunnel in St. Petersburg, Russia. A TBM so big, it is difficult even for its designers to describe. How big is this main bearing? <laughs> Kidding aside, Dr. Mikhail Rajevsky, General Director of Plato Engineering, which is part of the concessionaire for the Public-Private Partnership Project, said the tunnel diameter corresponds to the height of a six-story building. With a population of about 5 million, St. Petersburg sits on the juncture of the Neva River and the Baltic Sea. The historic city center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site which imposes special restrictions on new development. With private car ownership on the rise and little room on the surface, the mega tunnel is planned to connect the city center to the northern districts under the Neva River. At the beginning, we thought to do two tunnels with 15 meters in diameter. But feasibility studies determined that one large tunnel would be less risky and more cost-effective. The design calls for double-deck roadways of three lanes each, exhaust extraction for the upper traffic lanes in the crown, utilities and drainage in the invert, ventilation and emergency exits from one traffic level to another on one side, and exhaust extraction for the lower traffic lanes on the other. The Russian operating company Nevskaya Concession Company placed an order with Herring Connect for the mega 19.25 meter diameter machine. Of course, for Herring Connect, it was very ambitious and very special project. That is why Martin Herring Connect, the owner of the company, decided to be uh, our partner. A slurry mix shield TBM was determined to be the quickest and safest option for driving the one kilometer long tunnel through mainly soft alluvial deposits under high groundwater pressure. The TBM with backup will be 82 meters long, weigh about 3,800 tons, deliver 8,400 kilowatt drive power to the cutter head, and will be capable of excavating some 600 cubic meters of soil an hour. In addition, 90% of the cutter head tools will be replaced without entering the pressurized excavation chamber. Launching shaft, it will be a circle of shape. It will be 52 meter in diameter. Yes, uh, out diameter, inner diameter 49 meters. And depth of this shaft will be 40 meters. Construction of the launch shaft and the open cut approaches to the TBM drive will be supported by slurry walls of 1.5 meter thickness because we have really very difficult soil condition. The city uh, St. Petersburg was constructed, as you know, on marshland area. So we have about 15 meters from the top to 15 meter depths. We have um, tixotropic soil, where it's uh, very, very unstable and where very difficult, you know, to support Special segmental ring design was necessary for a tunnel this size and was the focus of the 2012 Sir Alan Muir Wood Lecture by Fritz Grubel at the ITA World Tunnel Congress in Bangkok. The weight of the whole ring is 260 ton, 16 tons and as a truck in uh, St. Petersburg only may load 18 tons, we had to make a much uh, higher segment number this uh, ring is now done with 12 segments and one key segment. I think uh, up to now never a ring with su such a number of segments was done. The tunnel, estimated to cost about 1.4 billion euros to build, would have an estimated transit of 60,000 cars per day. It would allow longer bridge opening times on the Neva River for increased shipping traffic. An under-river highway for St. Petersburg would be a world first for TBM design and a significant tunneling achievement. Paula Wallace for TunnelTalk.com